At TestX, we pride ourselves in taking our technologies and finding innovative ways to apply them to real-world problems. Corrosion fatigue cracking, the leading cause of boiler tube failures, can result in forced outages and lost revenue. The TestX Solution Providers Group, working in conjunction with companies in the utility industry, like the Clifty Creek Generating Station, which is jointly owned by AEP, Duke Energy, LG&E, and First Energy, have developed new testing tools. Introducing TestX's solution to corrosion fatigue cracking. Using TestX's balanced field electromagnetic technique, we are able to detect and size corrosion fatigue cracking with our specially designed probes. This cross section shows examples of axial cracking that has occurred in a boiler tube. These cracks will deepen until the tube ultimately fails. These are three examples of probes that we use to detect and size axial and circumferential cracking. The multi-channel is used for circumferential cracks, while the rotating probes are used for axial crack sizing. The flexible rotating probe is used for passing through boiler bends. Air pressure forces the probes to contact the surface of the tubes and the rotating motion is used to size cracks that have been detected beforehand by use of a boroscope. The two probes show up as a white and green line, and the crack shows up on both channels in 180 degree distances from each other. This is a crack that measures a 50% wall loss in a tube cut out from a boiler. This is a rigid rotating probe. It is inserted into a test piece with a 30% wall loss crack. You can see the waveform is similar to the flexible probe. This waveform shows a 30% axial crack. The multi-channel probe is designed to size circumferential cracking and can detect axial cracks to some extent. When a boroscope is not possible due to scale, we can use the multi-channel probe to detect potential cracks. Boroscoping is the preferred method of detection when possible. This multi-channel waveform shows areas of circumferential cracking as well as some axial cracking. When we use the analysis software, we can see a 3D waveform that shows circumferential cracks with the depths of 60 mils, 90 mils, and 120 mils. We can also see an indication of axial cracking, but we would have to use a rotating probe to size it. Here at TestX, we are constantly improving our non-destructive testing capabilities. Working in conjunction with our clients and the TestX Solution Providers Group, we research and develop new technologies and unique applications to your real-world problems.